Hello and welcome to the print quality test video for the Epson EcoTank 2700, the printer guy here. And what I'm doing here is essentially printing off some regular documents and then I'm going to get into printing off some photos. If this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. The photos that I'm going to be printing, you're going to see the quality that this printer is able to produce when printing photos. That's the best way I know how to test the print quality on a printer. Now, of course, we want to see how it prints a regular document. This printer, unfortunately, does not do double sided printing. So these are all going to be single sided pages that we're printing off. There will be some product links down in the description below. If you're noticing low print quality, you may want to check out the best printers cleaning kit. And if you were looking to buy this printer, there's going to be a link for it and it's a link for some remanufactured ink that's going to be a lot less expensive than the OEM. One of the biggest perks about using an Epson EcoTank printer is the bottled ink. And when you go the remanufactured route, you double those savings essentially. But with regular bottled ink, let's say the Epson brand, uh, you're going to save about 80% on ink with low cost replacement bottles. And you're saving about roughly 30 ink cartridges that you would not have to use. The amount of ink, because you're able to print 6,500 pages black and 52 pages color that is the equivalent of about 30 ink cartridge sets so a lot of savings there and as i said with using remanufactured ink linked down in the description below you can save a lot more than that all right so with these print quality tests what i'm looking for is color depth clarity and i want to make sure there's no breaks or lines in the photo itself because many times when you are printing with certain printers you're not using the right settings or the print quality is off these colors won't come out the way they need to now you can see all of the different colors everything pops everything is clear everything is detailed that's exactly what we want to see i was very impressed with the print quality on this printer i was not expecting this high of quality uh, to be produced from the epson ecotank 2700 but here we are we have a high quality photo that we just printed the print speed a little bit slower for photos but I don't mind as long as the print quality is going to be excellent. Now you can see that I'm using the Epson print app and that's what you're going to want to use if you're using the Epson EcoTank 2700. You can also use your PC if you're connected via USB and you just want to make sure that you're using the correct settings when you're printing off these photos because if you don't select the right type of photo paper or you don't select uh, the right type of quality that you want on that photo paper then you can end up with photo quality that is below your standards so make sure that all the settings are incorrect uh, make sure that you are selecting whether you want borderless or bordered in this case i'm selecting borderless on this specific print the previous one was bordered and the one before that was borderless as well so it's just your preference what do you want to do with that photo what is it going to be for as you can see this specific photo it came out excellent but the photo itself uh, when it was on the computer was a little bit pixelated so that's not the fault of the printer printing out you know bad print quality or something like that it's simply because of the way the photo was so make sure the photos you're printing are clear and crisp if they're not there's no way for this printer to emulate something that's not crisp and good quality if it's bad quality from the photo it's going to come out bad quality although here on this screen you can see all of the photos look excellent color looks phenomenal I don't have any complaints. All I have to say is good things about the Epson EcoTank 2700 and the quality that it's able to produce. Remember all the product links that are down in the description below. If this video was helpful, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's really all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching and until next time. Woo!